And because they did, they were shunned. They were thrown away. It was all narrowed down to this is the calendar and this is the day. You know what the word dogma means? Anybody out there know what the, you know what the word dogma means? It doesn't sound like a good word, does it? The word means unquestioned belief. Dogma. Doesn't sound very healthy. You know what the biggest dogma is on earth? What day it is. Nobody even questions it. And if they should, that person's crazy. Yeah, this is a really powerful tool to dominate people's consciousness, which is senior to their body. And it is senior to their actions. You see, there is a cascade of event. It goes like this. Consciousness, then light, then thought, then action. Consciousness first, then light, then thought, then the event. In every case, in all ways. So, you control somebody's consciousness, you got them. Soul, mind, and body, you got them. So, here we are, all of us from birth, including our parents and our grandparents from birth, all of us have been brainwashed with this focus. Every one of us, me too, every one of us has been brainwashed. Welcome to the rinse cycle. You see, most, uh, uh, first of all, you, you've, you've probably heard about other calendars. Like we were talking about the Hebrew calendar, the Islamic calendar. Yeah? Okay. Uh, all indigenous calendars, all of the most ancient indigenous calendars, had something in common. All of them were 360 days. 360 days long. Well, the archaeologists, they understand that that is the vague solar year, is what they call it. And they have the opinion that these ancient people were so primitive that they couldn't figure out how long the year was. So they just approximated it into 360 days. Well, the Maya had a 360-day calendar. We're going to be talking a whole lot about it. They also knew exactly how long it took for the Earth to go around the sun. They had a calendar like this, the Hob calendar, which was a 365 and one-quarter day calendar. All these ancient civilizations had 360-day calendars. Maybe they were looking at something other than this motion of Earth around the sun. Maybe they were paying attention to something other than physical evidence. It's possible. We'll take a look. The Maya actually had two calendars at the very center of their civilization. One was called the Zolkin. I'm going to go to the bigger pen. One was called the Zolkin. Spelt like that. It means, this means count, and this means day. So this whole thing means count of days. And the Zolkin calendar was 260 days long. Those of you who have studied something about 
the Mayan calendar are probably familiar with this one. This is the, the astrological calendar of the Maya. Or the personal calendar of the Maya. Now, who, who is, knows about the astrology part of the calendar? Anybody out there? Oh, okay. One, one person. Oh, like the, like the astrological thing, the aspects of the Mayan calendar. There is an astrological aspect to this, to this particular calendar. The, there are 13 intentions on the part of creation 13 intentions and 20 different aspects of creation that are represented in this calendar. 13 times 20 is 260. So there's a pattern. As a matter of fact, that's what this is right here. This uh, is a tool that I invented and designed and had produced. And what this tool does is it will take the Gregorian calendar, month and day and the year, and transpose it to the Mayan calendar and show you what day it is on the Mayan calendar. Okay? Today happens to be seven wisdom. Seven is one of the intentions. Seven means alignment with divine will or ethics. And the aspect of creation is wisdom today. So according to the Maya and this calendar, all of creation is resonating with the energies of divine will and wisdom. And that's the purpose of the day. That's the astrological aspect of this 260-day calendar. And by the way, all this information that it's, we'll have these in the back later, but all this information, I went to the Maya lands and met with the Maya shaman and had all of this verified by them. Uh, so there are the, is the actual traditional information there. See, the Maya, this, this is a personal calendar. How personal can a calendar be? Well, in the Mayan civilization, your first name was the name of the day that you were born. The Maya had this idea that being as you were spiritual, you had a choice of which day you became physical. That you actually had a choice. And why would you pick one day over any other day? Probably because you liked it best. Probably because it agreed with your intention for this life and what you planned to demonstrate as your aspect. So every single person born as a Maya came in knowing exactly why they were here. And everyone else in the society knew exactly why they were here. Wouldn't that have saved us a little bit of trouble? <laughs> in fact, if you do some study, I did do some study of psychology, and if you do some study of inmates, both in prison and in mental institutions, what the whole problem usually boils right down to is that person was never acknowledged for what they came here for. In a lot of cases they were blamed or something was, the, the reason you're here is make me miserable, that kind of thing. What they didn't get was acknowledged for why they chose to be here. The Mayan civilization ran very successfully for 5,000 years with this information. 
all the way up until the Catholic Church showed up and completely destroyed their civilization. The Maya are still there, by the way. There's over 8 million Maya who are living in Guatemala and the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. 8 million. They're not extinct. 